We've increased the visibility of material costs in estimating by adding functionality for cost codes to be applied by shape and then grouped together on estimate uh, reportings, especially the summary to Excel sheet. Uh, that is our final estimate double check. So in shapes, grades, and sizes, we now have uh, by our different shapes, the ability to apply, for example, on wide flange, I've applied a material cost code. And for bolts, uh, washes, I've applied a bolt cost code. And for a custom shape like crane hire, I've added a buyout cost code. And the way that presents itself in estimating uh, when I open a particular estimate and I simply add in those shapes, so any of my bolts or wide flange, or um, I actually have crane hire, uh, $6,500 worth of crane hire, or $650 worth of crane hire on this estimate. When I go to do that uh, final summary to Excel report, Um, when I pull that summary to Excel report up, it looks something like this. So we see under the fabricated materials, I have cost code 501. Um, so all the materials I had applied 501 total. Uh, the buyouts, so that $650 crane rental and then all the bolts came in as a, another line item and anything that had a blank cost code is totaled here. So this is, this is going to give estimators more flexibility in how they, they see the detail before they go out to bid.